Meanwhile, the Philippine government distanced itself from the United Nations Human Rights Council resolution that called for the lifting of the state of emergency and the immediate release of all those arbitrarily detained in the military coup coup d'etat in Myanmar earlier this month. The Philippines joined China, Russia, Venezuela, and Bolivia in dissociating itself from the HRC consensus that adopted the resolution but without taking a vote, according to Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodoro Loxin Jr. today. The Philippine statement delivered by a recorded message for the February 12 HRC special session on Myanmar underscored the importance of recognizing the domestic efforts of a country towards democracy reforms. According to the Department of Foreign Affairs or the DFA, dissociation does not necessarily mean a vote against the consensus, just that the thinking is not exactly the same as those who join the consensus. The Philippine government meanwhile reiterated its previous call for the complete restoration of the status quo ante as it backs Myanmar's pursuit of democracy. It emphasized that Manila has been supportive of the Southeast Asian nation's progress towards a fuller democracy and acknowledged the military's role in preserving Myanmar's territory, territorial integrity as well as the unifying role of its de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi's in the history of the country.